Um, dementia affects the whole family, not just the individual. Quite often the family actually get affected more than the individual because the individual doesn't often realise, especially later on in the journey, what's happening. What we often find is that when people get a diagnosis of dementia, that the family are just left with no other information. It's your family member has got Alzheimer's or vascular dementia, off you go, and they don't get told anything else. Oh, when they then come to choose a care home oh, or any care in the community, it's very difficult for people to know what they're looking for um, and to have any information. Uh, what we found was that um, through our relatives meetings and through people visiting was that people didn't seem to understand some of the care that we provide, some of the techniques that we use. So we felt that given those people the training that our staff have in a maybe more concentrated session would actually help them more to understand and to be able to contribute more to the lives of their loved one and their care um, at Sycamore Lodge. So we agreed that we do two sessions, one in the evening and one during the daytime. Um, and Richard organised those sessions. We had a chat about what the content should be and what he could actually do, what the problems that we were finding in the homes that the relatives were encountering so that he could really tailor make it to our relatives. I'm really passionate that, that dementia, knowledge about dementia is shared. I think it's really important that, that you know, we get as much information out there as possible. Caroline is of the same mind. Um, we knew that some of her relatives were struggling with, you know, what dementia is. Why, why can't their relative remember them? Of course they can, they only saw them last week. Why, you know, all of those kind of questions were coming up. And so we decided that we'd put a package together to try and help people answer some of those questions. And the session is very loose, you know, it's a very open session. We give some information on what dementia is, how it sort of manifests itself, the kind of symptoms people will see. Um, but other than that, it is very open and it allows people the opportunity to ask questions. Uh, it can challenge some perspectives as well, because um, we, we do an exercise around, uh, you know, the, the things that are important in our lives and losing those and, and how that feels. Um, so, so that can be quite challenging. For, for people but it is really important I think to try and give relatives the perspective of the individual because relatives want their relative back if that makes sense um, and actually what they need to, to realize is that actually they've got a different relative now and let's celebrate that let's um, you know let's work with that rather than fight all the time to kind of try and make this person somebody they're they're not anymore in the UK, how many people from black and minority ethnic um, That's very family That's issues surprising. where people may be? <laughs> <laughs> I look so good as well wearing, wearing these, Nathan. That feels safe. <laughs> they spend a, a whole day on dementia awareness. What I'm going to do is test your knowledge about Two Two Well, yeah. We do 60% women and 40% men. If you say yes, well, you know, men cause us to go mad. But then we usually say that, well, you make us die earlier. But I think what we've been through today has been absolutely really informative. It's helped us to understand how different types of dementia affect different people and some of the input that families can make to make the the sufferers' uh, life a lot easier as well as the family members as well. The habit has been to try and correct, you know, and point out errors, things that aren't right, you know, bring in current events, clarify, you know, what's correct, what's not correct, often very directly, and then, you know, repeating that as well in the hope that it might reinforce the facts over time and it may sink in when actually I learned the approach is, is really quite different and it's more about sort of empathising, you know, calming, you know, entering into mother's world rather than forcing her to enter into our world. Very much so and I think sometimes when you get a bit frustrated 
I can now understand why that person is reacting that way and that's going to help me to deal with it much better than I did prior to attending tonight's session. You get to know the home a bit more, you get to know the structure, you know how things work, you know rather than going in visiting a relative and leaving you learn a lot more about it and also in terms of how to cope as well and you know I'm sure it makes it easier for the staff as well where relatives are going in and understanding a lot more of the problems you know and being able to actually assist and cope in terms of you know how the relative in, in my case my mother you know adapts to the situation and manages the situation because you know obviously she's got lots of questions and you know she may talk to relatives in a different way you know versus staff and I'm able to give sort of similar messages and you know sort of empathize with her in an appropriate way and quite a few family members have said um, at the end of the training and since the training that actually the tools that they've learned during that time have been invaluable to them to be able to speak to their loved one in a, in a way that actually is going to help them and their understanding and they've been able to talk to their other family members about that and also share that with family members who couldn't come to the training so we definitely want to have another training session because it's been very good for the the relatives i think it's i think it's been a real revelation and sure healthcare you know should be really pleased with the innovation and leading the way with it it's great